welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and today I'll be doing my March book buzz this is a series on my channel that I do where I go over all of the new releases that I'm interested in for that particular month I'll go through all of these books in different categories and I will just give a brief synopsis or a tagline from the synopsis so first I'm gonna go through all of the romances that I'm interested in for this month um, the first one is Kiss the Stars by A.L. Jackson. This is the first book in the Falling Stars series. And this one is about a single mother and an up-and-coming drummer with a sordid past. Their paths never should have crossed, but when a senseless crime rocks Mia West's entire world, she agrees to spend the summer hiding out at the rock star brother's mansion in Savannah until the storm blows over. What she never expected was the gorgeous brooding drummer living in the guest house. So I am really excited to check this one out. I've never read anything by L.L. Jackson, so I'm excited to read this one. And I usually don't read rock star romances. However, this one does sound really good. The next one that I want to talk about is The Sinful King by Claire Contreras. And this is the first book in the Naughty Royals series. Um, this one says if you had any ties to Marabella it was impossible for you not to have heard the stories about Prince Ellis and his debauchery. Every summer he arrived with his security detail and friends in tow and rented out a row of cottages near the water. Cottages that belonged to my family. Each of these each of those summers my parents sent me away summer camp and later boarding school. Anything to keep me away from the royals and their partying. I hadn't been home in years, but when I finally come home for the summer, I see that not much has changed. Like all the summers I've been gone, Prince Ellis is back, but this time with an incognito security detail and no friends. So I have never read anything by this author. I've heard great things um, from her and her books. So I'm interested in checking this one out and it sounds like it's kind of like an enemies to lovers. I love enemies to lovers, so I'm excited to Read this one. The next one is Fresh Meat by Jasmine Miller. This is the first book in the Kings of the Water series. And this one says, fans call me the king of the water. I'm focused, driven, and most importantly, I win. Life as a professional swimmer comes with sacrifices, but they've never worried me. I'm used to life with little room for anything but training, eating, and sleeping. Nothing more, nothing less. When a son I knew nothing about lands on my doorstep and a crazy but very beautiful nanny shortly after, my life is turned upside down. Allowing any change into my life could put my goals and dreams in jeopardy and I've worked too hard and too long for them. I've never read any books that take place with a swimmer, um, so I'm definitely interested in reading this one and it deals with a nanny and he is... A dad that he didn't know about so that definitely sounds really intriguing and I cannot wait to read this one. The next one is Reborn Yesterday by Tessa Bailey. This is the first book in the Phenomenal Fate series and this one says it is a timeless love story with bite. It was a night like any other for funeral home director Jenny Lynn until the handsome and unfortunately deceased young man on her embalming table sat up opened his emerald eyes and changed the course of her life forever, making her feel quite fluttery while he was at it. So this is a vampire romance and I'm definitely interested in reading this one. I've heard great things about Tessa Bailey. I haven't read anything by her, but I'm excited and it's a vampire romance. What more can you say? So definitely excited to check that one out. The next one is Dear Enemy by Kristen Callahan and this is a smart emotional contemporary romance about finding love with the most unlikely of people. As kids they hated each other. Macon Saint was beautiful but despite his name Delilah knew he was the devil. That he dated her slightly evil sister Samantha was no picnic either. When they broke up, it was a dream come true. Delilah never had to see him again. Ten years later, her old enemy sends a text. So, 
love enemies of lovers so i'm definitely excited to read this one the next one is tell me pretty lies by charlie rose and the synopsis on this one says three things my mother acquired when she became engaged number one a brand new tiffany's ring number two a lavish home on heartbreak hill number three three privileged stepsons the last thing i expected was a fall for one of them um, definitely excited to read this one. I've read a romance between a uh, stepbrother, stepsister before. Absolutely loved it, so I'm definitely excited to check this one out. The next one is Take Two by Heather M. Orgron, and the synopsis on this one says, Who says you can't marry the same mistake twice? Certainly not Naya Perez, because that's precisely what she's done. Liam Watts is the bane of her existence, her first love, father of her child, and breaker of her heart. Oh, he's also her ex-husband. Well, he was anyway, right up till this morning when she woke up beside him in a Vegas hotel room. If it wasn't just between the two of them, an annulment would be the obvious solution. After all, they wouldn't be the first to marry and divorce at the Little White Chapel in the span of 24 hours. But their daughter's greatest wish has just been granted and there's one heart Nia wants to protect more than her own. It's Ellie's. So she promises to give it six months. I read another book by this author, was a five star read, absolutely loved it. I'm definitely excited to check this one out and it sounds really good too. So and it's gonna be a second chance romance. Can't wait to read this one. The next book is Sweet Temptation by Cora Riley, and this is an arranged marriage mafia romance. Uh, this one says, the first time Cassio meets his fiance, she calls him Sir. After losing his wife, Cassio is left to take care of two small children while trying to establish his rule over Philadelphia. Now he needs a mother for his children and someone who can warm his bed at night. But in a world as traditional as his, choosing your wife is duty, not pleasure. Rules have to be followed, traditions heeded. That's how he ends up with a woman, a girl, barely his age. So this is a age gap romance and also an arranged marriage. So I'm definitely excited to check this one out. I haven't really read any mafia romances, so I'm interested to see if that is another type of romance that I would like. The next book is The Rich Boy by Kylie Scott. This one says, I'm the type of girl who, who's given up on uh, fairy tales, so when Beck, the hot new busboy at work, starts flirting with me, I know better than to get my hopes up. Happily ever afters aren't for the average. I learned that the hard way. So I really like workplace romances so i'm definitely excited to check this one out the next one is the honey don't list by christina lauren and the synopsis on this one says carrie douglas has worked for home remodeling and design gurus melissa and rusty trip for nearly a decade a country girl at heart carrie started at their first store at 16 and more than anyone would suspect has helped them build an empire with a new show and a book about to launch the trips are on the verge of super stardom. There's only one problem. America's favorite couple can't stand each other. A delightfully charming love story about what happens when two assistants tasked with keeping a rocky relationship from explosion start to feel sparks of their own. I love Christina Lauren so much so I'm really excited to read this one and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The next one is All I Ask by Corinne Michaels. This is a breathtaking story about first love, second chances, and starting over. Tegan Berkeley is trying her best, a single mom raising a teen. She may have given up on her dreams, but she's accepted her life in her small beachside hometown. Now, the one person who abandoned her when she needed him the most has returned, bringing back memories of what might have been. First of all, the cover on this book is absolutely gorgeous, and I also have never read anything by Corinne Michaels. I've heard great things, so, and this synopsis sounds really good, and I can't wait to read this one. The next one is If I Never Met You by Mahari McFarlane, 
And this one says, if faking love is this easy, how do you know when it's real? When her partner of over a decade suddenly ends things, Lori is left reeling, not only because they work at the same law firm and she has to see him every day, her once perfect life is, a sh is in shambles and the thought of dating again in the age of tender is nothing short of horrifying. When news of her ex-pregnant girlfriend hits the office Grapevine, taking the humiliation lying down is not an option. Then a chance encounter in a broken down elevator with the office playboy opens up a new possibility. This one definitely sounds very intriguing and it's another office romance and I'm definitely interested in this one. Now this one, I am absolutely over the moon, cannot wait to read it. I've already heard uh, earlier reviews of it that is absolutely amazing and it is Old Fashioned by Candy Steiner. This is the fourth book in the Becker Brothers series and this one, uh, the synopsis on it says, when I declared sports medicine as my major and every man narrowed their eyes, that saying proved true. It was true when my ex-husband decided I'd give up my career when our daughter was born. And again, when I divorced the chief of and again, when I divorced the chief of police in our small town and he made it painfully clear that I could leave him, but I would never be free. Landing the job as the new athletic trainer for Stratford's high school team is my chance to start over. And walking into a male-dominated sport and staff, I'm ready for the challenge. I'm not ready for Jordan Becker. So this is Jordan's story and I am dying to read this one. So I will definitely be reading this one very, very soon. The next book is Mums the Word by Stacey Hart. This is the third book in the Bennett Brothers series. And the synopsis on this one says, falling in love with a Bennett is not an option. My mother has summoned me home to take my place at Bauer bouquets, and at the highest I'm expected to do as I'm told. I'm expected to sit by, sit by her side as she does her best to decimate the Bennett family and their flower shop, Longbourn. I'm expected to play by her rules or she'll ruin me too. But the day I crash into Marcus Bennett changes everything and the kiss seals the deal. I read the other two books in the series. Definitely excited to read this one. And it looks like it's going to be a rival between two of the flower shops. And I'm totally here for that. So definitely excited to check this one out. The next book is The Trade by Megan Quinn. And the synopsis on this one says, Can you pinpoint a time in your life when you realize you are completely and utterly screwed? I can. I got the dreaded phone call, the one every baseball player hopes and prays never comes. I was traded. Yeah, that phone call. Traded from my long time team of over 10 years and not just to any team, but my childhood rivals, the Chicago Rebels. Completely and utterly screwed, right? Wrong. The trade was the least of my concerns. I met a girl, Natalie. Man, she's perfect. I swear I would never get involved with anyone during the season. Too complicated, but you can believe I have zero resistance when it comes to this girl. I couldn't get her out of my head, and the more I talked to her, the more I realized I needed her in my life. So what's the problem? Why am I screwed? Because Natalie, the girl, I can't stop crushing on. Yeah, she's married. At least that's what I'm told. So this is like the fourth book in this baseball series. And I'm so excited to read this series. I need to read it really soon. So it's like a baseball series. And this one in particular sounds really good because the girl's married and he doesn't even know. So definitely excited to check out this series. The next book is Undercover Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. This is the second book in the Bromance Book Club series. And this one is about Brayden Mack. He thinks reading romance novels can make him an expert in love, but he'll soon discover that real life is better than fiction. And I believe the book club in this book is reading a romantic suspense. And I read the first, first book, Loved it, gave it five stars, so I'm really excited to read this one. And the last book in the romance category is Down and Dirty by Kendall Ryan. This is the fifth book in the Hot Jock series, and this one says it's an accidental Vegas 
wedding and a totally perfect alpha hero. This is a hockey series, I believe. And I'm definitely interested in checking out this series. I definitely want to start from the beginning to see if I actually will like it. But this one definitely sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Next, I'm going to go through all of the adult contemporary. And the first one is In Five Years by Rebecca Surly. And this one says, where do you see yourself in five years? And this is an unforgettable love story that reminds us of the power of loyalty, friendship, and the unpredictable nature of destiny. So I've seen this book around so much on Instagram and I'm definitely excited to check it out. So I'll probably be reading this one pretty soon. The next book is The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. And the synopsis on this one says Lydia and Freddie, Freddie and Lydia. They've been together for more than a decade and Lydia thought their love was indestructible, but she was wrong. On her 28th birthday, Freddie died in a car accident. So I've heard really great things about this book and I actually got this one in my book of the month selections for March. So hopefully I'll be reading this one really soon. The next one is A Good Neighbor by Therese Ann Fowler. The synopsis on this one says, An Oak Knoll, a tight-knit North Carolina neighborhood, professor of forestry and ecology, Valerie Alston Holt is raising her bright and talented biracial son. Xavier is headed to college in the fall, and after years of single parenting, Valerie is facing the prospect of an empty nest. All is well until the Whitmans move in next door, an apparently traditional family with new money, ambition, and a secretly troubled teenage daughter. What does it mean to be a good neighbor? How do we live alongside each other when we don't see eye to eye? Um, I've seen mixed things about this one. However, I am interested in it. So hopefully I can read this one um, sometime in the near future. I know that this was another book of the month pick. I did not pick it. However, I think I might get it for next month um, as one of my add-ons. So there's that. Hopefully I can read that one sooner rather than later. The next one is In an Instant by Suzanne Redfern. And this one says, life is over in an instant for 16 year old Finn Miller when a devastating car accident tumbles her and 10 others over the side of a mountain. Suspended between worlds, she watches helplessly other, as those she loves struggle to survive. I've read another book very similar to this one where you're like in between worlds and it was very fascinating. So I'm definitely interested in reading this one. Now I'm going to go through all of the thrillers that I'm interested in that come out this month. The first one is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. And this one says it exploring the psychological dynamics of the relationship between a naive teenage girl and her magnetic and manipulative teacher. Um, I'm definitely interested in reading this one. I've seen it around so much. I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. So I may be ordering this one because I am so interested in this one. Um, anything to do with a teacher and a student, I'm very interested in. Um, very taboo, but definitely interested. And it's a thriller, so I know that I'm probably gonna like this one. The next one that I'm interested in is You Are Not Alone by Gear Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Uh, the synopsis on this one says, you probably know someone like Shay Miller. You probably don't know anyone like the Moore sisters. Shay thinks she wants their life, but what they really want is hers. So this one sounds so intriguing. And I also got this one as one of my book month selections. So I'm definitely excited to read this one. The next one is The Red Lotus by Chris Bohollen. And this is about a twisty story of love and deceit. An American man vanishes on a rural road in Vietnam and his girlfriend, an emergency room doctor trained to ask questions, follows a path that leads her home to the very hospital where they met. This one definitely sounds very intriguing. I have an art copy of this one, so I will be reading this one real soon. The next book that I'm interested in is The Sea of Lost Girls. And this is about a story set in a prestigious prep school in which one woman's carefully hidden past might destroy her future. I am so interested in prep schools, so I'm definitely excited to check this one out. The next one is Please See Us by Caitlin Mullen, and this is about two young women who become unfriendly friends during one 
fretful summer in Atlantic City as mysterious disappearances hit dangerously close to home. Um, definitely interested in this one and hopefully I can read it soon. The next one is The Familiar Dark by a Amy Engel and this is about a mother with nothing left to lose who sets out on an all-consuming quest for justice after her daughter is murdered on the town playground. I'm definitely interested in reading this one. I also have an art copy of this one, so hopefully I will be reading this one really soon. The next one is Safe House by Joe Jakeman. And this one says she's paid the price for giving her ex a false alibi, and now she's moved to Seaside Village to escape her past, but more than her lie follows her there. This one definitely sounds really intriguing and I haven't seen this one around so I'm definitely interested in hopefully picking this one up. And the last thriller is The Silence by Daisy Pierce. Uh, this one says Stella Wiseman was a child TV star but there's nothing glamorous about her life now. Alone in her 30s she's lost her parents and her friends and she's stuck in a dead-end job. But just as she's hit rock bottom she meets Marco, a charismatic older man who offers to get her back on her feet. He seems too good to be true. Or is he? This one definitely sounds really interesting. I haven't seen this one around either so I'm intrigued in picking this one up. Next I'm going to go through the historical fictions that I am interested in. The first one is Code Name Helene by Ariel Lawhorn and this one says it is based on a thrilling real life story of socialite spy Nancy Wake. Um, the astonishing woman who killed a Nazi with her bare hands and went on to become one of the most decorated women in World War II. I'm really interested in reading this one. I love World War II, as y'all may know, so I'm definitely interested in picking this one up. The next one is Hannah's War by Jan Eliasberg, and this one says it is an unforgettable love story about an exceptional woman and the dangerous power of her greatest discovery. In Berlin, 1938, groundbreaking physicist Dr. Hannah Wise is on the verge of the greatest discovery of this 20th century, splitting the atom. In New Mexico in 1945, returning wounded and battered from the liberation of Paris, Major Jack Delaney arrives in New Mexican desert, desert with a mission to catch a spy. Someone in the top secret nuclear lab has been leaking ecoded equations to Hitler's scientists. My background is in science and however it's not in physics per se, but this one definitely sounds really interesting and I'm really excited to pick this one up. Um, it definitely has some science stuff in it and it's historical fiction, so this one is definitely right up my alley. The next one is Lost Boy Found by Kristen Alexander. And this one is set in 1913 on a summer's day on at Half Moon Lake in Louisiana. Four-year-old Sonny Davenport walks into the woods and never returns. So this one sounds very interesting and I, hopefully I'll be picking this one up too. And the last historical fiction is A Forgotten Home Child by Jenna Eve Graham. And this one is about a young girl caught in a scheme to rid England's streets of children and the link she will go to find her way home-based and this is based on a true story of the British home children. So this one definitely sounds very interesting. I really love things that are based upon true stories. However, that is pretty much all historical fiction, but this one definitely sounds really interesting and I can't wait to read it. The next category I'm gonna go over, there's only one, it's adult fantasy. And for this one, it is Crescent City by Sarah J Moss. I love Sarah J Moss. I read her A Court of Thorns and Roses series, loved it, and but this one says it is bound by blood, tempted by desire, unleashed by destiny. Bryce Quinnen had the perfect life working hard all day and partying all night until a demon murdered her closest friends, leaving her bereft, wounded, and alone. So this one definitely sounds so interesting and I cannot wait to pick this one up. And then I have a couple YA fantasies. The first one is Havenfall by Sarah Holland. And the synopsis on this one says, a safe haven between four realms, the girl sworn to protect it at any cost. Hidden deep in the mountains of Colorado lies the inn at Haven Fall, a sanctuary that connects ancient worlds, each with their own magic together. For generations, the inn has protected all who seek 
revenge within its walls and who disrupt the peace can never return. This one sounds so interesting and I definitely can't wait to read this one and hopefully I can get this one sooner rather than later because I'm definitely interested in it. And the last book is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is a historical YA fantasy about a musical prodigy and the dangerous links she'll go to make history remember her. Two siblings, two brilliant talents, but only one Mozart. Born with a gift for music, Nellor Mozart has just one wish, to be remembered forever. But even as she delights audiences with her masterful playing, she has little hope she'll ever become the acclimated composer she longs to be. She's a young woman in 18th century Europe, and that means composing is forbidden to her. She'll perform only until she reaches a marriageable age. Her father has made that much clear. So I'm very, very interested in this one. I am definitely i um, intrigued because of the music aspect and even the piano playing because I played piano for many, many years and I'm familiar with who Mozart is. So I'm really interested in reading this one. I actually might be purchasing this one because that's how interested I am in it. So yeah, those are all the books that I'm interested in that come out this month. Um, let me know in the comments if you're interested in any of these books or if you've read them. Let me know what you thought of them and until then I'll see you in my next video.